Yeah. Call all the deacons up. Call them up now. Ask if we linking up. Ask if we linking up. What time no sleeping time? 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 Call up the deacons, bro. Call them up now. Ask if we linking up. Ask if we linking up. What time no sleeping time? What time no sleeping time? Wake up the sleeping trap. Wake up the sleeping trap. Call up the deacons, bro. Call them up now. Ask if we linking up. Now, 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 now. What time no sleeping time? 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 Call all the deacons. I call him up now. Ask if we linking up. What we linking up? What time no yeah. sleeping time? Any yeah, minute now. Wake up the sleeping trap. I said I had to call him up. I made the phone call a deep like, what's up? Is you ready for war? He replied, being ready for war. Being ready for a battle with swords. And I respect him because he fought many wars. I humble down to what the scriptures say. And give doubles to the elders that been leading the way. I know it's hard in this walk and they've been walking for years. So when I'm weak in the flesh, they voice attend to my ears. A young man try and soak the wisdom, gain the knowledge, apply the scriptures, wrong decisions, leave me senseless, dear Lord, would you give me a chance, we all looking for the code of the gate, we all looking how to... Read Freedom, thou shalt not bear false wisdom, I'm not gonna lie on you, read, thou shalt not covet, That's right. and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor, as thyself. God said, all my commandments sum up in this one commandment. That's when I love thy neighbor as thyself. So I'm going to ask y'all something. Do y'all know that what we out here teaching today? Yeah. What we teach? Yeah. About love, love, respect. Love. Yeah, we teach you the truth. I'm going to show you what the truth. Love. Go to Psalms 119 verse 142. Yeah. And you're right. The truth and love. Love is the keeping the God's commandments. That's what we, that's the, that's the love that we miss. We miss the commandments. We're keeping the commandments. Now look, listen to this. Listen to this. Read. So I want that. Now I'm going to show you the truth that we teach you, read. The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. So what did, what did he say the truth is? Yes, yes, right. What did he say his truth was? Right he said his law is the, law, truth. the law. Yeah, that's what we out here. That's the truth we coming with. Now look, I know you said something about God so loved the world. Now look, we just had a brother up here earlier. I'm going to ask you something. What world? What world? <laughs> okay, I'm just saying, what world? Because you know, you got the sea world. <laughs> you know, you know, hey, I'm just saying, uh, you, think, you think it's the planet Earth? Yeah, it ain't that. Because look, I'm going to show you something. Give me Isaiah 45 and 17. Listen to listen to Check this out, Ray. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. What we doing, we teaching our people that we the Israelites according to the Bible. And salvation is only for us. Christ came and died for us. Christ is a black man according to the Bible. This is not Jesus Christ, but this is a biblical depiction of Christ. This man right here is the devil the Bible speaks of. This is a man named Sergio Bujar. And the white man set up his image as our savior. We the only people on the planet Earth. And I've been to Africa. Look. They got this image of this white man right here all over Africa. Yeah. You're like, hold on. So this who you waiting to come back to save you? Do you know what this man doing to us in America? You know what he took your gold and did to it? Your cocoa, your plantains, your minerals that's rich in Africa? And there are people looking for this man to come back and save them. Listen to this, wait. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. So we teaching that salvation is for the Israelites. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. Read. Right? With an everlasting salvation, ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. What did God call the Israelites? The what? He called them the world without end. Read it again. This is so you don't think I'm making up nothing. Read. Right? Isaiah chapter 45 verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end so what did he call the Israelites the world without end so when he said for God so loved the world who you think he was talking about the Israelites he talking about us because I'm asking you something in church they told us God was everybody God is he everybody God now what you was talking tell the truth this is what I'm going to say. Okay, what's up? What you got, sis? Okay, now look. I was on life support. Yeah. My husband, and I died three times. Okay. Okay, so I came down here and uh, the 
form of a gospel or anything. But the thing about this, I heard his voice when he spoke to me. And I know he's real. That's the truth, he is real. I seen the light. I seen uh, all of this. I even seen the garment when it walked in my, in my room. You know? And when I heard, when I was in a coma, I was comatose, didn't even know I was in the world. Okay? I heard my husband speaking to me. I heard my mother speaking to me. Okay. I heard my children speaking to me. I mean, I'm talking with this. I said, if only I could touch the young man his garment. I said that. So I'm asking you this, though. Is Christ a black man or a white man according to the Bible? Well, according to the Bible, he's black. Okay, so it wasn't no white man you seen walk up to you, right? Look, you never look up on his face. Okay. Look, on uh, now look, I'm glad you said I just want to make sure it wasn't no image of no white man in there. And the image of your husband was there. So, now look, I ain't telling you that you're lying. I want you to listen to this. Listen to this. One, Psalms 116, verse 14. Check this out. I believe what you're saying. But look, listen to what God going to say to you. Listen to this. Psalms 116, verse 14. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 116, verse 14. 12. Verse 12. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits towards me? What you gonna do to do for God for all his benefits towards you? Cause it seems like you're already there. So you got on you it seems like you're on your way there. You got on the modest of pearl. You got your head covered while praying and prophesying. So I mean you already uh, are a couple steps ahead. You know what? The only thing I can tell you is I got crosses. Huh? Where he, I got crosses on a blouse. Yeah. And it's not made by man's hand. And I don't have to Well you're supposed to have crosses, period. No, I'm saying it was spoke through me. Yeah. Okay? And it formed crosses on my blouse. My Lord and Savior Jesus Christ spoke Well, I'm going to tell you this, sis. We don't supposed to have cross. Because I'm going to tell you something. In the Bible. Listen to me. This, okay. Me. I did not form the crosses on my blouse. Yeah. No. I did not put the crosses on my blouse. The Holy Spirit put the crosses on my blouse. And when I always pray, I say, remember me. Well, I'm going to tell you this, um, I'm going to tell you this, sis. I'm going to tell you this. Now, this me. Crosses is a symbol of idolatry. But see, the thing about it is, you don't know my story. You don't know yeah, hey, look, I ain't saying I don't know your story. I'm going to ask you this. Do you believe in the Bible? Yes, I believe in the Bible. Well, according to the Bible, crosses is a sign of idolatry. That's what Christ got killed on. When our people look. All the all our people that you see wearing crosses, no, that's that 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 comes that that comes from them upholding right supremacy. But look, let's get back to this, sis. Like I said, look, I hey look, he said he got pictures. I ain't saying that, sis. I ain't saying that you wasn't on your deathbed or none of that. I'm asking you, what is you gonna do for God for all His benefits towards you? Listen to what David said he gonna do. Listen to this. Let's go right back to Psalm 116, verse 12. What it is. Well, yes, we can. It's time for you to take up the cup of salvation and pay your vows to the Most High God. We told the Lord that we was going to keep these commandments. So it's time, now it's time for you to sit up. Just like I said, just like I said, just like I said, since you were on the way there, it never was done away with. So listen to this, listen to this, Rick. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits towards me? What am I pay back to the Lord for all his benefits towards me? You was on your deathbed and the Lord said, look, ain't time for you to go. Read on. I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people. David, because David was on his deathbed at one time. He said, look, I'm going to pay my vows to the presence of the Lord in front of his people. So now it's time for you to come back to the Lord, repent, keep the commandments. Give me Romans 12 real quick, verse 1. Listen to this. Well, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. It's still things. No, but listen to me, sis. You still things you're lacking, though. Let me show you. Go to Numbers 15 and 38. Listen to me, sis. Sis, look. Sis, I ain't out here to judge you. I'm out here to show. You think we, I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all think we just come out here on the street corner and shout and argue with people? Because I'm going to ask you something. You say, our people, look, our people say they believe in the Bible. The prophets, they, they did the same thing that we doing. They come out here on the streets and they get, they exit, they. what you Yeah. what y'all doing. And y'all standing, I'm grateful. I believe you. I just said I believe you, but I said to her. Now it's time for y'all to do something for the most high for his benefits towards you. I didn't say a story was true. But listen to this, listen to this, so check this out. But look, but look, it's not 
it, it's not about the word. It, it's not about your speech, sis. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen, listen, listen. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. So now, sis, you got to put the fringes on the border of your garments. This is what God, this is a commandment. You just said this law ain't done away with. I'm just trying to show you, look, we're trying to get that, we're trying to get to perfection. For the benefits that God has done for you now, look, God said, look, speak to the children of Israel and bid them that they put them fringes on the border of their garments. Read on. And that they put on the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue, and it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. And he said, put upon that fringe a ribbon of blue. So now it's time for y'all to get border blue and fringes on the border of your garments. You know you're Israelites. You know we got to keep God's commandments. I'm going to tell you another thing. Give me a little bit because 11 and 45. We out here, we're trying to teach our people what God requires of us. Because that's why King David said, look, for our people. I said our people. Our people. I didn't say y'all people. I said our people. I'm talking about us as a whole. I'm going to ask you something, sis. What you about to go eat? <laughs> no, no pork. No pork. No pork. I don't do pork. What about shrimp? What about crab? I don't do shrimp. What about lobster? Okay, let's go to Leviticus chapter 11, verse 45. Listen in. But, sons, this is what I'm saying. Now, for all God's benefits towards you, it's time for you to pay them vows. Listen in. That's why God got us out here today to send you a message. Now, the, look, at first you was in your vision. Now the most high God us out here in the flesh. If you believe in the Bible, because see, we keep the commandments of God, so Look, we keep the command. Look, I'm going to tell you like I tell everybody else. Okay, what do you eat? What I eat, I eat everything that's clean that God say eat. That's right. Now look, listen to this. That means I don't eat pork, it's unclean. I don't eat rabbit, it's unclean. I don't eat shrimp, crab, lobsters, oyster. I don't eat nothing that's unclean according to God's dietary law, because God said this. Listen to this, so listen, 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 listen. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 45 For I am Yeah you can eat fish but only with fins and scales right. Only with fins and scales so Listen to this read For No catfish though cause catfish got fins But no scales listen read For I am the Lord that bringeth you Up on the land of Egypt To be your God Ye shall therefore be holy for I am holy The most I said we supposed to be holy cause he holy read This is the law of the beast And of the fowl So he gave us the law of the beast The law of the fowl and every living creature that moves in the waters and every creature that creepeth upon the earth to make a difference between the unclean and the clean and the beast and between the beast that may be eaten and the beast that may not be eaten. So I ain't sitting up here, so I ain't trying to put you down. I'm trying to tell both of y'all. If y'all been to go get if y'all been to go get some eat, get something to eat, make a difference between what's supposed to be eat and what's not supposed to be eat. Because God said, look, we're supposed to be holy unto him. It's time for you to pay your vows in the presence of the people. That's what we're doing out here right now. The most I look here, it's been plenty of times I'm supposed to have been dead. But I'm right here right now, paying my vows in front of the presence of the people because God I said, give me Exodus 19 and 6. This is for all you Israelites out here. We made a promise, even you, even you, that we made a promise with the Most High God. And it's time for us to fulfill that promise. The reason why all nations is ruling over us because we have not fulfilled our vows to the Lord. Listen to this, read. Exodus chapter 19, verse 6. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. God said, look, you should be unto me a kingdom of priests. That's why you see us out here, young black men on the street corner trying to teach our people the laws of God. You don't hear young black men teaching the laws of God. They saying break the law. We're trying to be teaching our people marriage out here. We tell you tell when you walked up, what were we telling them sisters? They need to cover up and dress modestly. Because men when they when they don't cover up and dress modestly, men lust after them. And I would say they have sex with them and pass them on. And we out here teaching, this is what we teach it. So you gotta ask yourself, hey, these men ain't teaching nothing to hurt nobody. We're trying to build our people up. So listen to this. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and, and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Read. And Moses came and called the elders of the people and laid before their faces all these words which the Lord commanded him. And all the people answered together and said, All that the Lord has spoken. All that the Lord has spoken. Read. We will do. That's why I say it's time to pay them vows. 
you might not have made that vow in this lifetime, but you made it in your past lifetime right. or your lifetime before that. This Bible is deeper than what you think. And this Bible, and that's why the most high got us out here to teach our people. This is our the reason why we don't know this is our lifeline right here. It's time to connect back to that. It's time to connect back to that. And when he come back, how he coming? Is Christ coming with kissing and kisses and hugs? No, nah, look, I'm gonna show you how he come back. Give me that. Give me that Isaiah 64. I'm gonna show you how Christ coming back. Do you know what them clouds talking about? Them clouds is a similar tool for chariots. Isaiah 6614. Listen to this, read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 14. 15, 15. Verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. Said the Lord gonna come with fire. Read. And with his chariot. That, look, them, them clouds of glory, you talking about them talking about chariots. They say he's gonna come back with fire in his chariots, read. Like a whirlwind. Like a whirlwind, read. To render his anger with fury. Christ coming back to destroy, to render his anger with fury, read. And his rebuke with flames of fire. And his rebuke, because that's the way he's going to correct that people. Because some people ain't going to receive the correction. So he said, you know what, I'm going to have to hit them up with the flame of fire. Get 2 Thessalonians 1 and 8. Yeah, he said fire. Don't know when. So we know he come back, but you know how people come. You don't want people think the second Christ is coming about kisses, hugs, and everything all great. It ain't gonna be all good. That's why we are here teaching now. It's time for our people to wake up, repent, and keep the commandments. Believe it or not, it's a judgment for eating unclean food. It's a judgment for men wearing women for cross dressing, men wearing women garments, and women wearing uh, uh, man garments. It's a judgment for that. That's all in the Bible. Listen to this read. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 8 in flaming fire it's like Christ coming back in flaming fire read yes. taking vengeance on them that know not God taking vengeance on them that know not God so what it means to know God Man, go to first no oh, oh, let me show you first John 2 and 3 everything I say remember no oh, 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 oh. that don't mean you know God because cause see a lot of people think they accept the Jesus listen to me a lot of people thought they accept Jesus. This who they in accept. Now look, listen to this. So I'm asking, I ain't say you said that. I didn't listen to me. I didn't say you said that, sis. You said you believed that Jesus was a black man. You asked me to. Did I see this man when I was sick? No. Yeah, I asked you that. Because I want to make sure. I want to, hey, look, listen to me. Christ walked the earth, though. No, I never Christ walked the earth 500, listen to me, sis. 500 people seen Christ at one time. Christ fed, Christ fed over 5,000 people. 5,000 people seen Christ, but the most high God, you can't look upon his face. But you tell us, you asked me a question. Did I look? I asked you. I just asked, sis. You asked me, did I look on somebody's face? Sis, I just asked you who you saw. That's it. Nobody. Nobody. But you can look on Christ's face, sis. No, you cannot. Yes, you can. You will die. He too, he no, no. Christ and the Most High God is two different people, sis. No, Christ and Most High God is two different people, sis. Get Daniel 7 and 9. See, that's what I'm saying. What you get so angry for, sis? No, I'm not getting angry. I've been agreeing with you the whole time. Listen to me. No, listen. Christ, listen. Jesus the Christ. Listen, sis. Jesus the Christ. And the Most High God is two different people. The white man taught you that Jesus Christ and the Son of God is the same people. Listen to this. Y'all listen to this. Daniel 7 real quick, verse 9. Listen to this. The book of Daniel chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. He said, he said, I beheld till the thrones were cast down. The thrones being cast down, bro, is talking about the kingdoms of this earth. Read on. And the ancients of days did sit. The ancient of days. This is talking about the most high God. Because he, he was here before he said the evening and the morning was the first day. Who? Mm. Whose garments was white as snow. God, the most high God got a body. Because his garment is white as snow that he wore. Read. Mm. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. And the hair on his head like pure wool. Just like my hair. The hair of Negroes. Read. Mm. His throne was like the fiery flame. He said his throne was like a fiery flame, read. And his wheels as burning fire. Somebody's chariot, read. A fiery stream issued and came forth 
from before him. So this time at the throne of God, it said a fiery stream issued and came forth before, uh, from the Most High. Read. Thousands, thousands ministered unto him. It said thousands and thousands ministered to the Most High God. Listen to this, bro. Read. And 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him. So this let you know that this is talking about the Most High God, the creators, the heaven and earth, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Read. The judgment was set. The judgment was set. The judgment was set for what? The Israelites to get the kingdom. Babylon the great to go down. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. Right. And our rulership is after this. We will rule with Christ if you keep the commandments and righteousness. Read. And the books were opened. I beheld then because of the voice. He said, I beheld then because the voice ring. Of the great words which was horn spake, I beheld even till the beast was slain. The beast is talking about Babylon the great America, ring. And his body destroyed and given to the burning flame. As concerning the rest of the beast, they had their dominion taken away. Meaning they go ahead and their kingdom taken away, ring. Yet they live were prolonged for a season and time. Their lives going to be prolonged for a season and time because they're going into captivity. Read on. I saw in the night vision. Now listen, this gave you, they, we just gave you a description of the Most High God in his throne. Now Daniel said, I see in the night vision, read. And behold, one like the Son of Man. One like the Son of Man. I want to ask you something. You know something about the Bible, bro? Okay, he said he don't know nothing. I want to ask you, what about you, sis? What do they call Christ? The son of what? The son of man, or the son of God, the son of man. He said, I look, he said, in the night vision, one like the son of man, read. Man came with the clouds of heaven. He came with the clouds of heaven. Talking about them chariots like a whirlwind, read. And came to the ancient of days. Why if Jesus Christ and God the same person? Why is Jesus Christ coming to the ancient of days, the most high God? You get it? And then what did he do? And they brought him near before him. They brought Christ near before the Most High God, read. And there was given him dominion. God gave Christ dominion, read. And glory. And glory, read. And a kingdom that all peace people, nations, and languages should serve him. You see that? And God gave him a kingdom, glory. And, uh, and so all nations and kingdoms, every, all nations can bow down and serve him. So Christ and the Most High God is two different people. Christ said up there and told you, go to Matthew 19. That's Christianity. Our people keep coming with the white man doctors, man. Everything we learned about God, we learned in slavery. Right. Now a black man out here trying to show you, look, I, I did not disagree with that sister when nothing she was saying. I told that sister, look, sir, I like the pearl you in. You got your head covered. You in righteousness. She got real defensive because she know. She got mad. I asked her one question. She got the going to her bed and she seen on her deathbed. I said, who did you see? Did you see him? Because I want to make sure what image was in her head. Because our kids, our kids think that this is God. They think this is their Savior. Wait, I want to ask you something. That's your daughter? That's your daughter? She's supposed to look at you and be like, you, Jesus Christ. Yes, She's supposed to be looking at the white man and be like, oh, yeah, this God. Imagine that, bro, growing up in this captivity. Our kids look at another nation of people and say, oh, this God. This is my Savior. He all righteous. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. But imagine if our image was put in our kids' head. They'd be like, damn, man, look, a black man can heal the sick. He can raise the dead. That's how our kids are think. But they think a white man can do everything. Then you look at these superhero shows. You got Batman. You got Superman. You got every type of man it is. All they do is save the world. But the black man, who seen Luke Cage? Who seen Luke Cage? Look at the black superhero. The only thing he is is bulletproof. And he fighting all the black people. <laughs> he bulletproof. Just keep the, uh, keep the hatred alive. I like Luke Cage, though. I like Luke Cage. But that's the, that's the stuff that they put in our head. All the, let's take out all the drug dealers out of the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? And we don't need drug dealing in our neighborhood. But the point is, they show you that we just trying to save the neighborhood. When it comes to them, they saving the whole world. Tell about people to wake up and pray. Repent. Listen to this, Rick. Which one? 19... 19 to 6. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 6. The book of Matthew chapter 19 verse 17 
And he said unto him. And he said unto him, Did he go a man exit Christ? How can he get the kingdom of heaven? Listen. Why callest thou me good? I mean, he said, Why are you calling me good? Christ said, Why are you calling me good, Reed? There is none good but one. He said, There is not none good but one, Reed. That is God. There is God. If Christ talking about himself, why he would say, why he would say, Yeah, I am good. God ain't the author of confusion. The most high God in Christ is two different people. Y'all, you gotta cut that Holy Trinity crap out. For real, though. You gotta cut it out. That is a doctrine that you learned in slavery. When you sit up there and teach that God, Jesus, uh, uh, God and Jesus is one. God, Jesus, what is God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit? Now, I ain't go to church. I ain't even know what the Trinity doctrine was. So I'm going to ask you something, bro. How did we get over here? On both. Look, I'm going to show you something. Did you know slavery was in the Bible? Slavery is in the Bible. And look, uh, y'all seen the movie, uh... The one with Nat Turner, Birth of a Nation. You remember he said, every scripture that got support in our bondage, the Most High got many more support, uh, demanding our freedom, right? The reason why we went into slavery is because we broke God's commandments. Let me show you this, Deuteronomy 28, verse 1 and 2. Listen to this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So God said, we keep his commandments. He said, I'm going to set you high above all nations of the earth, Reed. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. He said, all these blessings going to come upon thee and overtake thee. But, listen to this, verse 15. But it, it shall come to pass. He said, but it's going to come to pass, man. It's going to happen. The day and the hour will come and read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. See, all these curses going to come upon thee and overtake thee. I'm going to give you some of the curses that came upon us. Do it on the 286 day. The brother said we got over our own boats. This is what the Bible says. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. You hear that? Into Egypt again with ships. Now, Egypt is synonymous for another word. It's a synonym for another word. Get this, Exodus 22, listen. The book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. He said, I'm the Lord that brought you out of the land of Egypt, read. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. What did he call Egypt? What did he call Egypt, brother? The house of bondage. I'm trying to make sure your husband listen. Because your husband, the head of the household, he's going to have to learn this and be able to teach you and teach your daughter. Now look, go back to Deuteronomy 286 day. So Egypt is synonymous for house of bondage. Listen to this, read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Or slavery again. The Lord going to bring us into slavery again with what? With ships. With ships. How we get over here? I'm talking to you. How we get over here, bro? I need you to interact with me. Because I, I got to make sure you listening. Because the, this whole system been set up to keep brothers like me and you down. To keep us out of our household. To keep us from supporting our families. To keep us from knowing who we are. Your history is in the Bible. God said we're going to go into slavery with ships, we. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Thou shalt see it no more again. It's African April. Our people say they're African. Have you seen it, bro? Have you seen Africa? No, you ain't seen it. First of all, we ain't Africa. We ain't Africans. We are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. You know what I'm saying? You ain't seen it no more again. No, go back to where you was at. Read on. Thou shalt see it no more again. It's talking about your homeland. Our homeland is Jerusalem. That's We're right. from Israel. We the Israelites. Read on. And there ye shall be sold. And there you shall be sold. Who was sold? Who was, what nation of people you know that was sold? No, you, you know who was sold. Who was sold? Read on. Unto your enemy. Who was sold to their enemies for what? For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women. Who was that? That was us. We were sold to our enemies to be slaves. Give me that Deuteronomy 28 and 32. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. 
thy sons and thy daughters. He said, thy sons and thy daughters. Read. Shall be given unto another people. What people was our sons and daughters given to? The white folks. We in the head right now. Read on. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And your eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, Read. And there shall be no might in thy hand. Do we have any power to get our sons and daughters back? No. We don't got it now. We don't got it now, man. If uh, CPS come and take your child, you're going to have to fight like hell to try to get them back. And if you, I'm telling you, if you don't got your money right, if you don't got the, you don't got the proper stuff in place, They'll take your child and see your child to a whole other state. You'll never see them again. They still got the power to do that. It ain't no might in our hand. Now, we might want to wild out and take a few people out. But tell me we're going to get them back. I got a daughter. I hate to see that. I'll be ready to shut everything down. But the point is, they, I'm going to have the power to do it. I'm Elton Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.